The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Okay, we got the letter of introduction. Only three more left! Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. That's why I beg to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. In return for introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, On, your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. Stop bringing that up! Just for clarification, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Good heavens, no. Everything is as written in the reports. I hope you remember the conditions for our arrangement. Support me as best you can, understood? Of course. After all, I am thankful for your aid, Mr. Shido. I'll call in some favors from some old acquaintances and take part in the birth of Prime Minister Shido. I'll have you step down if I catch wind of any slack on your end. Are we clear? <laughs> Crystal. I'd rather not meet the same fate as those I've eliminated thus far. <laughs> Good. Isn't the man sitting over there one of them? He is the president of a TV station, isn't he? He gives letters of introduction to executives of companies who are willing to sponsor his programs. That's a difficult condition to meet. Wanna just beat it out of him? Let me handle this. For real? But... I'll allow it. You've got this, Noir. Yes, Senpai! A letter of introduction. But you're so obviously a child. I'm Haro Akumura, daughter of the president of Akumura Foods. I believe we sponsored you as well. Oh, you're her. It's true that I'm quite indebted to President Okumura. He funded us extremely well, after all. However, it looks like he got a little carried away. My condolences. <laughs> Regarding his exploiting management, Mr. Shido asked me to defend him as much as I could. 
I even threw some extra security his way, but there were limits to what I could do. The damage almost reached up to Mr. Shido himself. President Okumura had to be cut off. Cut off? It seems he didn't just cast him off his ship, but also used him to trap the Phantom Thieves. Bravo, Mr. Shido. Truly a nasty maneuver. <sighs> Won't you please give me a letter of recommendation? Once our company recovers, I will arrange for us to cooperate with you in a sponsorship role. You're the daughter of the late president. Do you really have the authority to do that? Your employees probably resent you. <laughs> well, that's not important. I'm in your father's debt, after all. I can repay some kindness to his daughter. Thank you. Very much. But my... Your father truly was a fool. He could have lived a life of luxury if only he'd done what he was told. You know, I'm the one who broadcast the moment of his mental shutdown. Our rating shot up because of that. <laughs> Stop it. Huh? How could you talk about my father's death like that? Hmm. That's just business. If you like, we can get you in a documentary. Overcoming death to rebuild a family company. You're so cute, you might just get good ratings. <laughs> I will not forgive you for that! You had better apologize to my father! <laughs> Time to save her! Are you... thieves? about quite a few important topics. We will not take your life as long as you share the knowledge that you've kept from the public. Remember that... Kanashiro guy? The one from the Mafia who ended up on the news a while back? 
Well, the money he was gathering all went to Shido-san. Shido and Kaneshiro were connected? Indeed. As well as that old man Madarame. His counterfeit business along with Kaneshiro's mafia aided Shido-san quite a lot financially. I understand now. Hey! You were forcing the news to be about Akechi and Shido all the time, right? <laughs> I'm sick of him. Wait, this guy's not a real person. Telling him ain't gonna do shit for us. Come on, we have to take down Shido himself. I would never have imagined that their leader would commit suicide. Akechi-kun, did you anticipate this curious turn of events? Oh, certainly not to this extent. But it is important to note that he was the mastermind behind the recent commotion. Getting captured must have wounded his pride irreparably. Such things happen often to insurgent leaders. According to the police, the whereabouts of the other members are still currently unknown. Considering they no longer acquire testimony from the leader, the investigation will be hard to... May I butt in for a second? Of course. The Phantom Thieves may have laid low since then, but they must not be excused. I don't care if they come after me. For the victims of their evil deeds and for their families. I will capture the remaining Phantom Thieves. No matter what. My apologies. I didn't mean to get so worked up. No wonder they call you an ace detective of justice. What passion. How about we use this opportunity to poll the audience? Those who believe the Detective of Justice will annihilate the Phantom Thieves. Press your buttons now! My, everyone in the audience agrees. Looks like you can't back down now. I will do the best I can. Oh, but I do have to study for my college entrance exams. I might not be able to promise that. None of these people know that I was an undesirable child. I wanted people to rely on me. I wanted to be needed. I devoted myself to my studies, acted as an honor student, and made my name as an ace detective. And thanks to the NAV app, and the persona bestowed upon me by the gods, I managed to dispose of any who got in my way. Though it took me some time to finally do so. All that remains is to tell him. But still, wasn't their leader's suicide a letdown for you, given how long it took to apprehend him? I think if it were me, I would have collapsed from the shock. True. It did make me feel somewhat dizzy. Just a little, though. Perhaps my mind was worked up due to the major task I had undertaken. Hmm. Hey, who is that? If you don't turn off your phone, the Phantom Thieves might change your heart. A phone? See? Even Akechi Kun's face has stiffened up. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm not bothered. Just make sure to turn it off when you go to the movies. <laughs> That must be the IT company president. I'm gonna go. By yourself? Mm. He'll be on guard if we all go together. Plus, it's IT stuff. This is my time to shine. Should we leave it to her? It's been left to me. It's like that show where the kid goes shopping alone for the first time. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. She's feeling good enough to joke around, so maybe this will be fine after all. Just yell if things get dangerous, okay? What the? Who are you? P -p Pardon my entrance, Sudden. Those clothes. I, I mean, why did you come in from the window? Well, well, the door's locked and you weren't answering. How else am I supposed to get in here? Oh, but I get how you feel. There's totes nothing better than relaxing in your own room. Uh, a girl? You're an IT guy, right? I can tell we talk the same language. 
that's not what matters here. Just who are... Huh? Is that your laptop? <laughs> this little guy caught your attention, huh? I made it myself. This is amazing. To think you could do this much on a mobile device. Want to see the benchmarks? It can pump out some awesome numbers. Although normally I just use this one as a sub-processor when I'm hacking into a tough system. Hacking? Do you mean like cyber attacks? <laughs> Ever heard of Medjed? Well, of course. Try not to be surprised by this. Actually, be surprised. I am Medjed. I'm the one who took down the fake. Huh? Don't believe me, huh? Here, this is proof. This is the project server. You identified all of them? If you want my skills, I'll need a letter of introduction. Man, to think the website we prepared got crushed so easily by a mere child. Huh? Y you prepared it? That's right. Why did you have to go and destroy our work? Because I'm a fan... <clears throat> just because I couldn't forgive someone using the Medjed name without my permission. So, why'd you send Medjed after the Phantom Thieves? There was no reason to choose Medjed, per se. Their popularity was convenient for us, though. <laughs> we knew the Phantom Thieves couldn't target an anonymous group, after all. That's why? Medjed's defeat was supposed to be an act, so their actual fall was quite a shock to me and Akechi-kun. We were planning on shutting it down anyway, though, so it really didn't conflict with our plans. The Phantom Thieves must have enjoyed their moment in the spotlight, not knowing it would be so short-lived. You see, you gotta abuse a tool like the internet. Well, the word abuse doesn't really describe it. The real charm comes in making use of the internet in innovative ways that circumvent legal restrictions. You little... <laughs> I'm sure you understand. You're Medjet, after all. Isn't it wonderful manipulating all those information illiterate idiots? What a third rate fool. Huh? Not only are your skills third rate, but you stink worse than a third rate person. Don't treat me like we're equals. I'm gonna reform society. What a stupid idea. Don't tell me you destroyed my website for this so called societal reform. That's right! It's because I'm a member of the Phantom Thieves! What? Picking on the weak and calling that innovative? Looks like I just gotta ban the guy at the root of all this. Shido, now, you're gonna give me that letter of introduction! <laughs> Why would I? But how about a computer competition for it? Huh? Don't be ridiculous. I'd rather just kill you! So this is still what happens in the end. Well, now that we know he has one, this should be the easiest way to get it. There.
Okie-dokie, we got a letter of introduction. Making that fake Medjed wasn't the only bad thing you did, right? I want to hear your biggest secret. The cognitive science research. What did you do? Spill it! After extracting the results of the research, I deleted every last scrap of the original data. After that, I encrypted everything we had and put it on a domain inaccessible to normal people. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't know anything about all the mental shutdowns. Shido, what the hell was he researching? No matter what it was, we won't let him abuse it. Every media outlet is vouching for the inevitable Prime Minister Shido. The public loves you too. We've only made it this far thanks to you. I'm honored to hear that. Now then, I have a favor to ask of you. What might that be? It's about the loyal customers of our mental shutdown business. How about you dispose of all the ones you think suspicious? Right at this moment? But the election is coming up soon. Correct. The earlier the better. Why so suddenly? Did something happen? Nothing in particular. But if something were to happen, it would already be too late. I can understand why you might be nervous. But why not stay calm and hold off until after the election? I'd like to take out all of the trash before my inauguration as Prime Minister of this nation. For the sake of absolute victory, I need all roots of anxiety to be pulled as soon as possible. Anxiety? You've never mentioned such things before now. Um... Shido-san? <sighs> do you understand what it means to cross me? Just do as I ask. I'll be counting on you. This is all too sudden. Could it be?